Loose Women Coronation Street legend Thelma Barlow discusses coming out of retirement after 26 years. Thelma Barlow spoke to the Loose Women on Wednesday about her new role and coming out of retirement at the age of 95. The Coronation Street legend spoke about the new short film Sleepless in Seattle directed by former Dinner Ladies co-star Judy Flynn who sat in the audience. Mission, Impossible star Rebecca Ferguson hails Tom Cruise as an inspiration. Rebecca Ferguson has hailed Tom Cruise as an inspiration. The 40-year-old actress stars alongside Hollywood superstar Tom, 61, in the Mission, Impossible film series which he also produces, and explained that he will go to great lengths to make sure that everything runs smoothly on set. During an appearance on UK TV show Loose Women, when asked if Tom is an inspiration, she said, Yes he is. He is. I think because he comes with so much energy. I worked with him on something that he produces, so he is basically the big boy boss. The big boy boss man. I'm not saying he's different. But that's the Tom I know, which means he's there first, he's on top of it, he knows everything. He laughs and jokes, but if someone is uncomfortable, or is there a moment of not understanding, he will stop things and make sure that you are clear on what you are doing. However, Tom is also known for sending a custom-made coconut cake, which consists of chunks of white chocolate covered in a layer of cream cheese frosting and topped with shredded coconut, to his celebrity friends for the Christmas season and has gifted the likes of Rosie O'Donnell, Angela Bassett, Tom Hanks and Kirsten Dunst with one but Rebecca admitted she actually had to call ahead of time to make sure she didn't receive the unhealthy treat again this year. She said, he's a feeder, it was a coconut cake filled with everything unhealthy to the point where I actually called his assistant and said, I don't want it this year, because I need to not eat it. Who is Adam Britton? British zoologist facing 249 years in jail for raping, torturing, killing dogs. Adam Britton, a renowned zoologist, has confessed to 60 heinous crimes involving the rape, torture and killing of dogs. The 53-year-old now faces a potential sentence of up to 249 years in Australia. The leading British crocodile expert confessed to bestiality and a plethora of animal sexual abuse charges filed against him in Australia in September last year. His case shocked and injured animal rights activists and the public alike as the details of his disturbing actions came to light. Britain has confessed to an interest in zoosadism and in numerous online messages presented to the Northern Territory Supreme Court, he guided other people on how to perpetrate similar acts of abuse. When Britain appeared for sentencing submissions recently, the court was told about the psychiatric condition called paraphilia that afflicted him. Who is Adam Britton? Born in 1972 as Adam Robert Corden Britton, he graduated from Queen Elizabeth's Grammar School in 1987 and earned an honors degree in zoology from the University of Leeds in 1992. Britton completed his PhD in zoology from the University of Bristol in 1996. He moved to Australia that same year and met his future wife Erin, a wildlife ranger and biologist. The couple established a consultancy specializing in wild crocodiles. Britton gained international recognition as a crocodile expert and collaborated with prominent figures like David Attenborough. He contributed to various documentaries and educational programs for the BBC and National Geographic. He was a research associate at Charles Darwin University in Darwin, Australia, and appeared on the Discovery Channel program, Animal Face-Off, further cementing his reputation as a leading authority on crocodiles. His career came to be overshadowed by his criminal activities after he confessed to a raft of charges involving the rape torture, and killing of dogs, which he used to commit inside a shipping container dubbed the Torture Room. Prominent figures like David Attenborough, he contributed to various documentaries and educational programs for the BBC and National Geographic. He was a research associate at Charles Darwin University in Darwin, Australia, and appeared on the Discovery Channel program Animal Face-Off, further cementing his reputation as a leading authority on crocodiles. 
His career came to be overshadowed by his criminal activities after he confessed to a raft of charges involving the rape, torture, and killing of dogs, which he used to commit inside a shipping container dubbed the Torture Room.